Watch out for splinters. <laughs> Seriously. All right, folks. Two ways to do this. I'm gonna start with my favorite new way, which is with these big popsicle sticks. So they will work with regular ones. And all you're gonna do is take your rubber band. Which rubber band? There's all different kinds to try. I will say that this thicker one does not work very well. So choose a rubber band that fits over your popsicle stick like uh, this. Then you basically make a sandwich. You put one on top and one on bottom and nothing happens. Well, a little bit. Problem is the rubber bands, which uh, make the sound, can't vibrate. They need to be able to shake back and forth between the sticks. So I need a spacer. And the spacer is just from a index card. See those blue stripes right there? I'm just gonna cut down. I just used two of those stripes there. That's a good width. And then two empty popsicle sticks together, like this. There's two. I'm gonna take this strip, and it really helps to have your tape already cut. So I'm gonna take one of these, and I'm gonna make it skinny like this. I want really skinny pieces of tape. Just put those to the side. With the empty two, I'm gonna pick up my strip here, and I'm just gonna wrap it around. Wrap it around, wrap it around. And now when I tape this closed, I do not want the tape on the stick. I want the tape on the paper. Like that. And then the same thing on the other side. Again, I'm gonna choose these two skinny ones here. Got my tape ready, skinnier than your strip here. And I'm just gonna set that on there and again, wrap it around. And then my skinny tape, I'm just gonna tape that. Am I taping to the popsicle stick? No, I'm just taping it. So now I've got a slider. A slider is also a spacer, all right? So now, <clears throat> slide off my sliders. And this time, I'm gonna put a slider on the top, and I'm gonna put a slider on the bottom. And now, rubber band sandwich in the middle, and a slider on top. And all that does is create a space between the popsicle sticks where the rubber band can vibrate. Now, it's gonna fall apart. So I need to get another piece of tape. And you can tape both ends, but I find I really like just having one side taped, and I'll show you why here. So I'm not gonna tape the sliders. This time, I'm only gonna tape the wood, or the, sorry, the popsicle stick there. The sliders need to be able to slide. And I'm just making that snug on there. Now this is uh, gonna be mine because I'm putting my mouth on it, right? So very important that I get my name on here. Actually, pencil works pretty good. Now it looks funny because this end is sticking up, but now I can tweak it. Now I can work this back and forth. <laughs> That's a cool horse. And I can slide my slider. You can breathe in and out. Faster is higher and shorter. And longer is slower and lower. You can squish your teeth together. You can bend it. All different kinds of tricks you could do. And if you want, you can add tape to this end and wrap it up as well. But I have to say, I like it like this, 
where I can control the sliders and this end. <laughs> if you want, you can tape this in. If you're gonna tape the other end, I would add spacer sliders on that end too. Uh, it makes it easier for them to move. Now that I only put spacer sliders on one side, it's tough to move them. So I'm actually, I'm gonna take this back off. I don't like it on there, and that is okay. Just discovered another cool trick. The speed of the vibration affects the sound, the pitch, the high and the low. Um, as well as the length. So I'm gonna take this rubber band, which really is like two strings on a guitar, because there's there's two different places where it, it vibrates. And I'm just gonna take this one and I'm gonna stretch it, and then add the extra to the other side there. So now this side's stretched out, which is gonna make it vibrate much faster and higher. And now this one is looser, and so it should be slower and lower. Be careful not to twist the rubber band. You definitely want it flat. So I'm making sure that mine is flat there. And now I can actually play them separately. I can play just the top part here. So notice the tight one is higher because it vibrates faster because it's really tight. And the looser one is slower and lower. Now you have kind of a harmony where you put the sounds together. It's like two different voices singing at the same time at different pitches.